Well, uh, I've got my team here to talk about Ebola, but before I do, I want to uh, just make mention of the horrific attacks that took place uh, in Jerusalem. Uh, we know that two attackers senselessly and brutally attacked uh, innocent worshipers in a synagogue uh, during their morning prayers. Uh, obviously, we condemn in the strongest terms these attacks. Uh, a number of people were wounded. Uh, and four people were killed, including three American citizens. So this is a tragedy for both nations, uh, Israel as well as the United States, and our hearts uh, go out to the families who uh, obviously are uh, undergoing uh, enormous grief right now. Uh, Secretary Kerry has spoken to Prime Minister Netanyahu. Uh, President Abbas has uh, strongly condemned the attacks. Uh, tragically, this is not the first loss of life uh, that we have seen in recent months. Uh, too many Israelis have died, too many Palestinians have died. Uh, and at this difficult time, I think it's important for both Palestinians and Israelis uh, to try to work together to lower tensions and to reject violence. Uh, the murders for today's outrageous acts represent uh, the kind of extremism that threatens uh, to bring all of the Middle East into the kind of spiral uh, from which it's very difficult to emerge. And we know how this violence can get worse uh, over time. Uh, but we have to remind ourselves that the majority of Palestinians and Israelis uh, overwhelmingly want peace uh, and to be able to raise their families uh, knowing they're safe and secure. The United States wants to work with all parties involved uh, to make that uh, a reality and to <coughs> isolate the kinds of extremists uh, that are bringing about uh, this uh, terrible carnage.